Hi there, Peter Bos talking. Um, a while ago I made an um, uh, open SCAT uh, polygon uh, generator, um, which was uh, simple, uh, but uh, kind of useful. Uh, the only drawback was that you couldn't move the points around and uh, stuff like that. Um, so I made a new version, uh, it's called uh, Polygon Rabbit, and um, you can use it online or in a desktop uh, version. Um, it's basically the same idea but uh, with a little bit more features, I will, which uh, I will talk about in a minute. Um, the, uh, I'm in favor of the desktop version uh, because uh, you can easily and save uh, fast um, and if you use the online version you every time you get a uh, get a, a dialogue and then you have to save it um, but they're basically the same um, well what can I say about the little tool well uh, the interface is quite simple uh, you got a grid size and a real size uh, real size is um, uh, in this case one millimeter so every box uh, you see here is uh, one millimeter in size if you want to change that you could uh, change it to 10 or 20 or whatever you like uh, you also can change the grid size uh, you also can do that uh, while you're drawing uh, so, have, so that you have a little bit more space uh, uh, to play with um, well you can add layers uh, when you add a layer, uh, you see a small point here, and that's called the center point. Uh, when you export uh, the, of when you generate SCAD file, uh, it will use this as the center point of your drawing. Uh, every module has its own center point. Uh, this can be useful when you want to offset uh, different objects that you have drawn. So, the green layer has its center point here, and the gray layer has its center point here. Um, you can add points, of course. That's the whole point of it. Uh, I still haven't got uh, gotten to the point that I can uh, draw uh, curves and stuff like that. I really would like to do that, but uh, I'm a little bit uh, um, uh, just don't have the time. <laughs> um, well, uh, you can draw all sorts of stuff but this gives you a basic idea so uh, these have both their own center points and uh, you can uh, do all sorts of stuff uh, I will just uh, generate a path for this example uh, you can change the names of the modules um, but I will leave them at the, what they are now so uh, when you save uh, the file uh, it will be read into open uh, as you can see here 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 it's uh, generated some code and you can see the module names coming back into the uh, into the generated code um, it also gives an error here that's because there is no top level object you can do that by checking this box here and checking this box here so now uh, every um, module will generate a helper uh, call uh, into the file when i uh, save uh, this file again you will see that it has actually generated the small box and this is what i meant by uh, the center point you can see the two objects uh, merge with each other uh, they only got their color from the tool so you can when you change the color here it will change also in the in open SCAD. Um, well, let's extrude uh, module 1, for example, and I will extrude it 10 millimeters. Uh, well, well, let's extrude it 5, just for the heck of it. And module uh, 2, I will ex extrude 10, uh, but that one I will uh, change the color, just because I can. Um, well, when you save it again and look at it in open as you can see that it is uh, not at all what I, what I was expecting but uh, this happens to me all the time you have to check the extrude function 
and now it should look a little bit better. Well, we, we have it, the two objects nicely merged together. So what you can do here is uh, modify the open SCAD file or use this as an uh, import library, uh, which is better because uh, every time you make a change, you will override this file. So I would opt for the version uh, that you uh, include this in the, uh, this file in, into, a, a, uh, into another OpenSCAD file. Uh, so you could use this file as a uh, sort of a library. Um, well, you can do all sorts of stuff. Um, you can uh, rotate it. So let's rotate uh, this uh, object around this point. Um, let's see what that looks like in no, OpenSCAD. Very nice, very nice shape. Um, you can also uh, modify the, the how many segments it's going to use. So let's beef it up to 100. And it should be a bit smoother now. Yeah, much better. Um, going back to extrude. Um, oh yeah, what you also can do is uh, duplicate layers uh, when you've got a nice complex object going. Uh, sometimes you want to add a, another layer on, up, uh, onto it and then it's nice in, that you can copy uh, the layer that you're working on. So uh, just click it, click duplicate and now you've got an exact copy of this one. And then you can move the points uh, to the new location. and uh, extrude it. And um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, well, if you make this one a little bit higher and you save it, you can see the shape uh, appearing when you check the test module box. So saving it again. Um, where was my, oh there. Well, here we have it. Oh yeah, uh, another thing I have to show you. Um, I will uh, not test these modules. Oh, you can check them. I will not test these modules. So, yeah, both turned off. And I will concentrate on this one. Um, you can add points. If you add points within the box, it will act like a Boolean operation. Let me show you what I mean. Now you have a nice uh, hollow, hollow shape. Uh, you can even go on with that. You will see, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, well, now we have a cube within a cube. Um, And you can repeat this as much as you want. How much fun is that? Save. Oh, uh, you can also uh, move the points, of course. Uh, so, looks a little bit, little bit like that. Um, you can uh, add more points to an existing path by shift dragging a point. It's a bit quirky, but it works. Um, it does a uh, simple calculation to figure out what's the best position for the drag point. Uh, well, this is about it. Um, I will uh, upload it also to Thingiverse and um, also uh, well put a link in with the video. It was a lengthy, very long video. Sorry about that. Um, Peter Boss signing off.